Hey everybody. Just want to let everybody know, yes, bam, I passed. I barely passed the comp, the comp tier security plus. I'm so excited. Oh man, this test was hard, very hard. I want to explain some of the things. I was gonna write some stuff down, but I got so excited. Um, I want to explain some of the things about the test, man. I studied, I studied for two months. I'm talking day in and day out. Me personally, I never. I don't have an IT job. I um, just picked up the book and I started studying. Somebody suggested to get this book, the Michael Myers book. Uh, I'm not going to say anything bad about him, but it didn't help me. Um, this, is a, this is a complicated book to read. But I know one thing. It was three things in this book that wasn't in this book. This book right here, Bill Gibson. Focus. There we go. This book was very, very good. As you can see, I have highlighted. I don't know if you can see. I don't know. I'm that little video type person, but I highlighted, man, and underlined and studied. What I like about this book is I studied the correct answers. I saw something online that said, study the correct answers and study the wrong answers. Know why the wrong answers is the wrong answer. Um, I'm trying to calm down. I'm so excited that I thought I was going to fail. I thought I was going to fail. Um, got some more stuff underlined. Let it focus. Anyway, there. This book is the bomb diggity. If you don't, if you never had any IT experience and you're changing over and you want to start brand new, this is the book to get. Um, people can, you can leave comments, man. I will answer because I swear to you, I researched so much stuff on it on the internet and couldn't find hardly anything. Bam, focus factor. I'm not getting paid for none of this stuff and all that crap. I use the focus factor to stay focused. I stayed in this room. This is my recording studio. I stayed in the room and just studied, studied as much material as I can. Um, one thing I want to say, well, I already said one one thing, so I'm, I got things in my mind kind of labeled. Number two, number two, download as many, they call them dumps, I guess, as many dumps, but this is how this is how I felt I was ready. I started finding wrong answers on the dump. Once you start understanding the material and you start noticing that this dump right here, by the way, was very helpful. 390 questions, past guaranteed. Some of the questions, they was dead on. This right here, I don't know if you can see it. This one right here was 100% on the test, on the test I took. So even though they had a lot of wrong answers, this dump right here was on point. Um, Pass-guaranteed.com, I would recommend them. Um, again, every dump that I looked at, I started noticing wrong answers on them. So study the material out of this book. I, I couldn't get the CD to work. This book comes with a CD, the Michael Myers book, and he has a Udemy thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. My opinion, this book didn't help me a lot. I went through and kind of researched some of the stuff and highlighted and and try to cross-reference. If I didn't understand something in here, then I went to this book and cross-reference it. Um, another book that um, everybody know about Professor Messer. Bam! Shout out to Professor Messer for real, for real. Um, his study guide. I got him pulled up. As you can see, I, I got him pulled up. I was going to talk a little bit about him. Professor Messer's study guide. Get into and watch all of them, even the four ones. This is this is what I did. I studied everything. Four one five one studied everything, and then I determined. Wait a minute. This is not going to be on the 
on the test. This is 401 stuff. That way you know the material. Um, his um, course notes. I have to say, I love Professor Messer to death. Everybody does. You, he is on point, teaches so much stuff. But I got to say that his study guide book didn't help me at all. Maybe it'll help you. But I think his stuff is broken down so far that it's like a quick, like he said, he, you already study. I took this with me because when I went in, I went early to have enough time to do some studying. And I didn't even open the book. Um, as soon as I got there, they said, if you want, you can go on in and take the test. And I felt as though I was ready. Um, this kind of hit all the bullet points and it's, it's good. It's been put together well. One of the things that I really wanted, the reason why I actually bought it, because of all the acronyms, one of the main things about the test is you don't know you don't need to know the acronyms you don't need to know what an ACL what does AC, ACL stand for um, access control list you don't need to know that you need to know what the access control list does Professor Messer says that in almost every one of his videos um, in each and each and every time um, I'm trying to make sure I go over everything uh, it's harder to do these videos than what I thought they were um, some of the acronyms wasn't on here, so I copied and pasted it into um, WordPerfect, Microsoft Word, and actually added some to it. Um, if you ask for it, I can send you um, an email copy of it. You can download it, whatever the case may be. I would love to help some people. Um, notice stuff. One thing I noticed about the test is anything you're studying, it's not going to be worded like that. This test was hard. I passed with 14 points. You know, I thought I failed. Just like everybody was saying, I was going through the test. I said, I don't know why. I don't waste my money. I felt as though I was reading too slow. Um, the questions, I'm trying to get a clear understanding of it because nothing was worded. It was worded so weirdly, you know, and then they give you a printout of all the stuff that you need to study. Um, your incorrect answers, one or more questions in the following areas. This is worded clearly, you know, it's, it's worded so clear. Anyway, as far as the test wording, um, one of the things I wanted to say, you know, of course, you don't want to tell you exactly what was on the test and whatever um throughout all the books and everything i read it talked about hashing encryption and it never said any too much about a checksum it's like checksum a ch you know it's the way you check a hash it's a check check a little bit a checksum it's the way you check a hash but on the on the test it was all about check checks 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 them and for some reason, I think at the last minute or the last day, I saw a question that said something about the answer is checksum. And I was like, what is a checksum? And I'm thinking I'm ready already, right? And so that was on the test. So if you, um, how can I say this? If you understand, know, know all of uh, uh, not only the abbreviations, but the the nicknames for of different things or whatever other things that they may call it. Um, need to know that one of the things about uh, encryption or hashing was confusion and diff diffusion. I studied that for a whole day, and that was not on my test. It wasn't on my test. Um, I think people said it's like four or five different tests that you can get. Um, one of the things I noticed was I had 75, was it 75 or 85? I had like 75 questions, I think, or 85, maybe it was 85. I didn't have 90 questions. <clears throat> I didn't have 90 questions, but when the test started out, I'm almost sure I saw 90 questions on the test. Um, and then I must have been doing so well. So somebody was explaining to me that it goes through a cipher that 
if you're doing so good that you're already passing, then it drops down to close to 75 questions. Because some people say, I only got 75 questions on my test. It ain't 90 questions. If you're doing bad, I guess it gives you a second chance to, um, to actually catch up. It knows you had the time or whatever. It, it gives you more questions if you miss a whole lot of them. So don't worry about that. Um, definitely eliminate the questions that you know ain't it. And just, just don't even look at them anymore. Read as fast as you can, but clearly understand. Because um, I don't consider myself a fast reader, but I was pushing it when the time. Um, I flagged two questions. And I went, I had a little bit of time. I had like six minutes to go through. So I said three three minutes a piece. I can take my time on these questions. And then I went on to answer them. Um, I went back and maybe checked one or two questions. And I may have changed one answer. But like Professor Messer said, don't change the answers. Now, last thing I want to say is I think everybody talks about Professor Messer. Um, once you you realize that he is teaching you a lot. Once you start realizing that he talked too much, that's my man, I love him to death. He talks too much on, I don't know, thing. once you explain the point, move on. And that could be hard to do because you want to make sure you clearly cover everything. Just like now, I'm like, okay, I know people probably saying, move on to the next thing, whatever, what else, what's next? And I'm going over so many different things but I think this focus factor stuff really really worked for me but see I'm off subject again already but I'm talking about focus right but the point I want to make real quick is this guy right here um I don't know if you can see this I pulled up some of this stuff oh, I'm going to talk about Professor Messer's website uh is this the guy? This guy right here. Um, IT do Dojo. This green right here. It looks green, whatever the case may be. Um, check him out, man. I mean, he goes when when you ready to advance with better uh, or harder questions. This guy right here. Um, he goes straight through the questions and the answers. And that's it. He does two questions a day for IT. And then he has a, another one that was kind of purple. It's probably for a different... <clears throat> I think it's for a different course. But the this right here is for a different course. But you can read up on it and stuff. But... All that logs and all that, a lot of this equipment, a lot of this was on the test as well. So this will help prepare you for the test. So uh, my advice to you guys is find any information out there on YouTube. Um, copy and paste the whole question. If you if you got a dump or you get copy and paste the whole question into Google and Google the question, other stuff will come up. Um, cross-reference the answer, research the answers, know the definitions. Um, and and that's, that's about it, man. Um, the wording on these questions is crazy. Um, a couple of people said that they thought they was failing. I really, really thought I was failing. I was, I was like hurt because I did two months of nothing else but freaking studying, studying, studying. Um, studied on while I'm riding down the riding down the road oh also one one other thing i want to point out real quick if i can get to it oh okay the guy who wrote this book uh get certified get ahead i think it's get certified get ahead dot com get certified get ahead dot com go to his website you can download um i think it's worth it the questions and answers in an audio file I put them on my phone, but well, I got my, my video on my phone. I downloaded uh, in each section. I don't know if you can see that. The darker gray area. Shoot, focus, focus. The darker area, the gray area says, remember this? 
he has this on audio on every chapter. Every chapter. Do you remember this? The darker areas? It's on every chapter. But he put it in audio so you can ride down the street um, listening to this over and over again, man. I went to work. I still got my hat on. Pulling my earbuds out. I went through <clears throat> I went through two sets of earbuds off of Amazon. Got the earbuds in my ear. Just listen. I'm not listening to nobody else. I'm listening to um, his review questions. You got to remember this section, review questions. And what I like about um, what I like about this book the most is you get a beginning. In the beginning, you get a, uh, 75 questions and answers. Um, then at the end, you get 75 questions and answers. That's 150. And after every chapter, you have a question and answer. Um, <clears throat> after It's 15 questions after each chapter. This one only gave me 10. I ain't even do all the, all the questions and answers in here. I meant to do all of them. But does it give you a... I don't even know if he gives you a test at the end. But the way this book was set up, man, I, I didn't really like it. So um, I hope I'm not just rambling on. This book was... Every time I went to this book, I just got mad at, at, at the way he was wording things. To be honest, it probably a best it's best probably to study and learn this book because the test was worded kind of crazy and wild. So, Michael Myers, you might be on point. It's just that I didn't study you. Maybe if I studied you, I would have did better on the test. Um, because the words and everything was was worded so crazy. Um, notes. I got notes and highlighting pens, man. I took so many, many, many notes. Man, I tried to study and read everything. Notes, notes. I don't know if y'all, can y'all see that? I don't even know if y'all can see that. I'm the only blind person here. But anyway, I wrote down notes, made up questions on my own and everything, man. And I just know, I knew that there was no more I could do to, to take this test, man. And a 750, I got a 764, 764, and I studied my behind off. Again, I have no, I built computers and and um, did a little bit of network type stuff, but I, ain't, I, I, I don't know nothing about networking and Kerberos and TACS and Radius and Radius Plus and um, single sign-ons and all this. I don't know none of that stuff. I learned all that through these books and, and Professor Messer and this guy right here, IT Dojo. So leave a comment and all that good stuff. And um, good luck out there, man. That is That test is hard. Somebody said that test easy. That test is not easy. Nowhere near easy. If you think you're failing, keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Um, flag a couple of questions. Keep moving and and try to come back to them. Um, oh, one more thing about the test. It was kind of confusing. It was it was confusing. Um, confusing. It was confusing to actually how you move on to the next question once you went through the performance based questions. Um, I kept clicking. It didn't take me back to the same performance base. I thought it was going to move on. Once you, it's like you click on something and it opens, you, you read the question, you click on something and it opens up the performance. Once it opens up the, the performance, you answer all the performance questions, then you you click enter and it go back to the performance pay, based question. Then you got to go to the bottom and hit continue. And I was, it took, I did that three or four times and I said, well, my answers are still there. And it looked like I just skipped it. And I didn't, I didn't know if it was, I said, what makes it so bad? My first performance based question, I got it. I got that right. I know that was 100% right. Um, you can leave me a comment and ask me why I knew that performance based question. I got a trick for a performance based question. Y'all better hit a like. And subscribe and leave me a note because I tell you, I got some real good tricks 
with a performance-based question. Check it out. Peace out.